Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a good Christmas. This latest video was shot mainly on one of my residential permissions. The last few shots were taken on one of my farm perms. Enjoy. Lately I've been shooting quite a bit with my brococks so I decided to put one of the pads back on to me Virac HW110K and give it another go out. I'd forgotten how good it was. In this image you can see the setup I use. On the left you can see the GoPro which I use for close-up video and on the right the trail camera which is there constantly. Warning, this is a pest control video. If you are not comfortable watching this content, please switch off now. You have been warned. Although it's fidgety, this one definitely seems to have fleas. During this session, all three grears definitely came from different directions, which was a bit of a surprise to be honest. Just for everybody's information, the time on the clocks were actually an hour ahead of where they should have been. Some numpty set the time wrong. These side-on shots were taken with the GoPro Hero 8, which is a pretty good camera. Unfortunately, the remote control isn't so good. It keeps losing sync with the camera, which I'm not very happy about. So I might actually end up swapping systems.
Good example of disinhibition coming up now. Disinhibition is when the brain's been scrambled and all it is is the last of the brain waves and nerve endings firing off before the animal comes to a halt. Now then, as you're going to see in a second, this grey seems to have a problem with its right eye. I don't know if it's had a fight with another grey, or whether it's hurt itself on a tree, or indeed if there's somebody else been shooting in the area that I don't know about. If you live in the local area, please pop over to Wheatley Hill Pet and Corn in Wheatley Hill County Durham and support local businesses. Right, so at this point, there's actually five dead greys underneath the feeder, and this is soon going to be number six. It seems less interested in going onto the feeder, and more interested in sniffing its dead mates on the ground. It would be rude not to allow it to join its friends. This hide is the same design as most of the others, and this is on one of my farm permissions. I put this one up due to the fact that the squirrel population is quite dense in the area. I don't know if you can actually see it in these next two images, but there's about a five foot drop down towards the ground underneath the feeder. And I can't actually see the ground from the hide, which is not ideal. These next two images are very grainy and that's due to the fact it's only 5 past 8 on the morning 
but the pod is doing a good job of letting a lot more light through than there is actually available. Now with it being so dark, when this one fell, I went straight out and picked it up. And within about six or seven minutes, number two arrives. Now for some reason, this second one wasn't interested in the feeder. Don't know what it is. It certainly wasn't the fact that there was a dead grey underneath because I picked that one up five minutes earlier. Now for some reason, this one just wanted to sit on the fence. So that's where I took the shot. At this point, I thought it was going to climb on the feeder, but just wasn't having any of it. So I just had to show a bit of patience and wait to see what it was going to do. Now, as you can see by this last clip, the light is actually a lot better, and that's because it's quarter to ten on the morning. Now, if there's anything else you would particularly like to see in the videos, please pop a comment in the comment box. Thanks very much, and I'll see you later. If you enjoyed watching the footage please don't forget to like the video as you're watching and add any comments in the box below and don't forget to subscribe. In the meantime here's a couple of other videos for you to watch.